Building sand houses and sand castles with wet sand can be fun and frankly very thrilling. However, we do know that these buildings are very fragile as they collapse at the slightest touch or get easily washed away by water. But you see, water and soil have been used to make very hard objects for centuries. Before materials like metals, rubber and plastics became easily accessible, objects like pots, cups, plates and other vessels were made using clay. This is what is called pottery. Interestingly, the name pottery doubles as the name of the workshop where pottery is done. But a fellow who does pottery is known as a potter. Now, one can define pottery as the art of forming or making objects using clay or other ceramic raw materials. Clay is a type of soil that is formed from the chemical weathering of rocks. It has very fine grains and is quite smoother than sand. There are many types of clay, but the major types of clay used during pottery are earthenware, porcelain, and the stoneware. To make an object using clay, a potter would have to first obtain the clay material from the ground where it is found. When it is brought to the pottery, it has to be prepared first before the process of shaping commences. Now, to prepare the clay, the potter would have to add some quantity of water to the clay and filter it to remove any unwanted particles like stone and grass. When this is done, the filtered clay is then kneaded until it forms a paste. Kneading can be done with the hand, feet, or by pounding. But this process leaves some air bubbles trapped inside the mixture, which may affect the quality of the finished product or cause cracking when the mixture is heated. So, to remove the trapped air bubbles, the mixture is repeatedly thrown and twisted on a workbench by hand. This process is called wedging. When this is done, the shaping process commences. But hey, we will look at some shaping processes in a future lesson. For now, let us look at what happens after the clay mixture is shaped. When the clay mixture is shaped, it is still wet and soft. To harden it, it is dried under the sun. When it is dry enough, it is placed in a kiln and heated. This process is called firing or baking. Firing clay products makes them very hard and protects them from water damage. In some cases, firing may be the final stage. However, some clay products may require some decoration and protection. The decoration may involve painting, carving or polishing its surface. It could also involve the coating of the surface with a protective glossy coat. Before we head to the next lesson, here is what you need to remember. Pottery is the art of forming or making objects using clay or other ceramic raw materials. A person who does pottery is called a potter and the workshop where it is done is called a pottery. The processes involved in pottery include clay preparation, shaping, firing, and decoration. I'll see you later.